Hey everyone, this is our day one in Aswan. We've just reached today morning and uh, we'll be staying on the Elephantine Island uh, in a Nubian guest house. So Nubians are the early inhabitants of the central Nile Valley and people of this particular island, they have converted their homes into these beautifully, colorfully, uh, vibrant guest houses. This is the one we'll be staying in for the next two days and you can see the view from the balcony is just so amazing and relaxing uh, right on the banks of the Nile River on the Elephantine Island and guys the homestay owners prepared an amazing Nubian lunch for us and in the evening we went for a one hour Feluka ride on the Nile River Felukas are wind tailored boats and they've been used in Egypt since earlier times uh, the boat ride took around an hour and these are a couple of shots from that time. So guys, next day we woke up really early. It was a big day. We were to leave for the Abu Simbel temple. Uh, these are two humongous uh, rock cut temples uh, on the banks of Lake Nasir, uh, which is known to be one of the largest man-made lakes in the world. Uh, these temples, they are known to be salvaged in the 1960s around uh, from the rising waters of the Nile River and they were placed at this particular spot and this is around 3-3.5 three, three hours uh, drive from the Aswan main city. Yeah, so we have finished the first uh, temple. Um, I believe it's the Ramesses temple which we were in. You can see the, the giant uh, Ramesses statues right outside. Uh, one of them apparently was not found. That's the reason uh, there's no... Uh, you can see behind me there is no statue for one of the, the stands but uh, remaining three were found. Um, hieroglyphics uh, are from... from I think uh, 1500 BC. The hieroglyphics inside. 1500 to 1500 BC. That's what written inside. Uh, gives you goosebumps again to touch those hieroglyphics to to imagine. And you know the the funny part is that all these statues which have been excavated or which have been found, which have been placed inside, have the signatures of the people who have found them. Um, one side it's, it's uh, ruining uh, the, the statue, the old age uh, uh, carving, but on the other hand it is quite fascinating to see when was uh, these uh, statues found. So some of them have a signature of someone with a year 1923, another one has uh, 1839, and uh, so yeah that's again a history you know we're talking about a couple of uh, hundred years ago so in all uh, amazing experience so we are close to the next uh, uh, temple now we'll, we'll show you how it looks from outside
welcome back uh, we are back in our balcony we were super tired after the morning trip and didn't feel like recording after that so we just came back had a couple of hours uh, nap and just relaxing in our, in the balcony uh, amazing uh, ambiance uh, it's it's around 6 pm uh, local time over here and cool breeze and you can see Nile uh, behind me so we're gonna relax and let's see what we can do today tomorrow is a big day tomorrow we are uh, checking out of this uh, hotel and by the way I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you about this hotel obviously the link will be in the description but uh, special thanks to the people who run this place uh, we were told that uh, Nubians are known for their hospitality as well and we have uh, first hand experienced that after coming to this property uh, to our surprise this property is listed with uh, uh, Lonely Planet as well so if you buy the Lonely Planet Egypt book you'll find uh, this uh, place to as a recommended uh, you know a destination so we're uh, gonna hang out uh, on on the balcony now if if something happens we'll we'll show you otherwise we'll see you tomorrow morning hi guys just checking in uh, we are at the Aswan high dam you can see the lake Nasser behind me we're not allowed to shoot a lot over here because it's a heavily militarized area but just wanted to give you a quick view of this dam so we are at the second stop off for the day uh, we are going to the Phila Island Phila Island is uh, a short boat ride for around 15 minutes uh, from the mainland and this island uh, has four uh, temples and one monastery and uh, these are some of the shots taken while crossing and here we are at the temple. So guys, here is an interesting fact about these temples. So as it was being mentioned that uh, there was a guy called Theodore who traveled uh, to Egypt and you know was trying on was on a mission to uh, spread christianity and uh, he finally came on this island Ifo island with around 300 people whom he had convinced to join him in christianity crusade uh, when they were here in on this island you know to send a message what they did was they chiseled out some of these sculptures from the wall and you know they didn't destroy it completely because if they were just trying to send a message that your gods are not able to save themselves how will they save uh, you so what they have done is they have just chiseled out like uh, this is uh, uh, what's the name of Cleopatra's uh, father Ptolemy 12 so this is the the image of Ptolemy 12 who was the father of Cleopatra you see uh, his entire structure has been chiseled out and if you see the other uh, structures on that side they have not been touched okay so all this uh, uh, this is the the queen of uh, queen isis or no sorry the god isis uh, goddess isis who is of uh, uh, love and prosperity and you see these structures over here they have not been harmed at all on the face of the so you see a cross has been here so cross has been carved out on both the sides and on this side it has been uh, carved right on the, the face of the god and the entire uh, text uh, text written over here the hieroglyphics are in uh, Coptic, Coptic language Ma Mizi. Ma Mizi, it means the birth house. It's a ceremonial building. I told you that the Greeks and Romans were foreigners. Mm -hmm. The Egyptian rules saying that it must be for the king of Egypt to be from Egyptian origin or from the divine blood. Divine blood is the blood of the gods. Okay. So the priests have to solve this 
problem. Mm -hmm. So they invented the story of the divine birth. That the mother of this king, Ptolemy II, married to... Uh, oh, sorry, the father of this king, uh, Ptolemy, married to the goddess Isis. But he took the shape of Osiris, her husband. Okay. Or his, the soul of Osiris came into his body. Mm -hmm. Then they married together and they gave the birth to that divine child. A divine child elected by his mother Isis to be a fair So that's one of the ways just to make the people accept these foreign things as fair. So we spent around an hour, an hour and a half at this temple. A uh, couple of intriguing facts were thrown at us by our guide. Uh, we were completely mesmerized by the sheer beauty of it and the condition in which the hieroglyphics and everything was found. Uh, highly well preserved till date. And in fact, these hieroglyphics are still being studied at uh, many universities in Egypt and across the world. So guys, a brief uh, history lesson. Uh, Right on the wall over there, you can see some scribbles. I'll just zoom for you. So this is uh, during the Alexander's period. Uh, two of his uh, companions uh, named Balzac and Costas have engraved uh, this writing on the wall. And if you can see closely, it has the uh, longitude and latitude of Paris mentioned over there. 30 degrees, six, uh, uh, 16 uh, minutes and 24 degrees 3 minutes so it's quite fascinating in those days as well they were able to give the exact uh, measurement of uh, you know the longitude and latitude so this was our last destination for the day the unfinished obelisk uh, we made a quick stop over here didn't have much time and it's a large rock uh, which has not been used for carving out any temples so after spending the two amazing days in uh, Aswan, staying at our Nubian uh, homestay, it was finally time to head to our next destination which is Luxor. Here are some of the clips from our different uh, visits to temples. And then finally we checked into our cruise which would take us a couple of days from Aswan till Luxor. You will watch all those amazing content in our next video which is coming soon. So do like, share, subscribe if you like the content and keep watching.